We only got one tadpole, guys. <clears throat> And we've got a couple here guys, not as many as what I hoped for. This one there, I'll show you. Oh, I didn't do that well guys, so the tadpoles are probably in the centre there. Usually they'll be amongst the reeds, but anyway, caught a few. I just want to show you guys, here's this tadpole here. You can just see the colour of it. So this dam here, it's got that yellowy type water. If this tadpole was in a clear water dam, the tadpole would actually be brown. But because of the colour of the dam, like a whitey type colour, they, they turn out like that colour. So, unsure what type of tadpole this one is, guys. It's probably a uh, banjo frog or some other species I can't think of at the moment, but we'll show you all right guys someone's shooting in the distance and we'll go home now and chuck those tadpoles in the fish pond or the tadpole ponds and I'll show you in about two or three months time guys so I can guarantee if I come back here when the water is all dried out you'll see hundreds of tadpoles on the surface like this dying so we'll try and come back just before all this dam here dries out and we'll pick up a heap of tadpoles so we'll do another episode on that but that's what happens guys all the tadpoles start dying when the water evaporates looks so here like that so I'll show you an example when it happens guys it's really really interesting And you'll see all these little holes here, fellas. These are all yabby homes where yabbies, freshwater crayfish live. They can survive for years under the ground without water. Oh, just down there, there's heaps of holes everywhere. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll head back home now and put these tadpoles in my pond and there's a heap of uh, water bugs in there as well which is great for the environment and also for the garden and the tadpoles can eat those as well and like I say guys how the water dries out just about two weeks ago all of this area here was covered in water but what I'll do is come back in a week or so if it doesn't rain because this little section just here will dry out and we'll come back and see if there's any tadpoles on the surface I've seen um, there's tadpoles in there because I've seen the little ripples when they come to the surface and get some fresh air Alright guys, we'll go and put these tadpoles in here, so I'm going to put them in here guys, there's already some tadpoles in there, and just here is just that pond I was talking about with the minnows, you can just see them there. So there, the reason, so the minnows are really good for obviously keeping mosquitoes away, same goes for the frogs, and this here is a big long one. Got about probably about six ponds, guys, but they're not massive, but they're pretty big. But anyway, we'll chuck these in here, and there's also a heap of insects or water bugs, so hopefully 
it'll turn yellow guys this water but eventually it will clear once it all settles oh, it says must have been minnows in there guys there's a couple of minnows in there anyway Alright guys, so we're just heading up the top of this hill. This is an old granite hill. Just down here guys. You can see where echidnas have been digging around for ants. You can just see some little tiny ants there. That's what they're looking for for dinner. Heaps of um, beautiful wildlife around here guys. I'll also do some nice sound recordings of the birds. A lot of beautiful casuarina trees in this area. I've done videos on the sounds of the Casarina trees, so check out the link below. And just over here is where that beautiful native Aboriginal freshwater spring is. Just got to be careful of walking on top of a snake. <coughs> also, when you're stepping over logs and that like that, just got to be very careful, especially in front of the rock. You always look down. So basically what happens here guys, on top of this hill, when it rains, all the water runs down to the bottom. And look at this beautiful spring down here. Oh, I love this spot, it's one of my favourite spots in my hometown. Oh, beautiful freshwater grass is growing here, let's hope there's some tadpoles, there will be. Fortunately a little bit of moss or algae growing on top. Can't see any tadpoles but I reckon they'll be there. Some bees having a nice drink of water. Maybe pollinating these native grasses so anyway you know, guys well oh yeah I can see a tap hole I'll show you I can actually just see its shadow don't know if that's just the shadow there you can just see it it's a little oval shaped thing We'll see amongst all this green native grass is um, all the where the tadpoles will be. What we'll also do, guys, is clean this out and get rid of all this algae. And eventually, one day, me and my Aboriginal mate are planning on coming out here and just giving the whole thing a dig out during summer, um, take all the rocks out, and then dig, dig up all the mud. And just give it a really good clean out, then put the rocks back in and just so it's nice and free, free guys because when all the stuff runs down it's got you know mud all that kind of stuff so it just fills it up so probably it's probably never been cleaned out before except for when the aboriginals would do it back a hundred plus years ago all right guys so we'll put the net in and we'll hopefully try and get rid of all of, all of this algae here guys we had no luck at all it's probably the second or third time I've come here and I've had no luck catching uh, the Western toadlet tadpole whereas the last few years prior to that there was thousands so whether or not I'm coming at the wrong time which I doubt because it's more or less just past winter so I don't know what it is it might be just the climate that algae there post 
breeding season they've already changed the toadlets anyway there's another spot where I know of just in my hometown so we'll go there later and see if we can have any luck if not I'll show you photos of what they look like and the sounds anyway guys I've just got my little I actually did have my Sony uh, recorder there so I've just got it set up there to get some nice sounds for the bees and the birds and all that kind of stuff and we go for a quick walk up here and we'll see if we can find any Aboriginal uh, reptile or lizard traps so this algae here guys basically you can just pick it up with your hand it's like a jelly type substance just chuck it to one side and it'll dry out and die So as you can see guys, this place is beautiful, but we're not having any luck. Heaps of water bugs, no tadpoles. 